Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason and I am back with another review for you today. Well, it's a, it's a review and unboxing. Uh, I'm going to give you my initial thoughts on this product and go straight into the specifications and review of it. This has been sent to me for free by a company called Trend Him. They have an online store that you can pick up plenty of things from, from bags to beard trimmers to not that i need one to wallets to watches plenty of different things on there uh, they are they have a range of watches and that's what they contacted me about reviewing i said yes i'll, I'll take one in happily uh, i'll feature you on the channel now these are available on that website for 179 pounds which isn't exactly super expensive but it's definitely above the usual AliExpress type of range, so you're expecting a little bit more for your money here. I have linked them in the description below. If you'd like to pick up this watch or you'd like to look at anything else that they have to offer, then please go and check that out. Without further ado, let's turn this camera around and let's get into this review. Right, so this has been sent to me by a website called, well, I was contacted by someone who works for a website called Trendhim. Uh, they sell a lot of different things, but they also sell watches. They asked, would I like to review one? I said, yeah, sure. Gave me one to pick, for, well, a few to pick from. Now, this is actually really well packaged. As you can see, as you can see here, it's got a nice little cloth over the box itself. Inner box, outer box. Nice leather feeling box in the actual outer box here. So inside there we have a little booklet. I imagine this is a user manual. Uh, so this brand is called Sizemont. They are sold by Trend Him. The website will be linked in the description as always. Uh, this is a free watch, so make of that what you will, I guess. Um, my reviews are always honest, and they will be for this one, but I definitely need to let you know that I'm getting to keep it. I'm not going to go through the user manual. I don't need that. So we have a little polishing cloth here. The packaging's actually really premium. I'm gonna, gonna give them that. And there's the watch. I'm trying, I'm going to try and be very open-minded about this one because it's not my usual thing. A uh, little hang tag. As I say, packaging is spot on. In fact, I've seen much more expensive watches with much worse packaging than this. So it looks like a bit of a chunky watch. And as you can see, it is a skeletonized dial or at least partially skeletonized so as you can see it's a it's a very different type of design it's a it's pretty out there it is an automatic movement in the back of this one as you might have guessed you know what the finishing on this casing is actually really good i'll give them that or well, the finishing on the bracelet at the very least uh, dlc coated i don't often pick up dlc pieces but out of the ones that they gave me the choice of this was definitely the best looking one brushed finish on the clasp there it is a milled clasp which i didn't expect i'm gonna be honest i didn't have high hopes for this watch uh, because of the um the affiliation that i have with what seem to be chinese based websites but it's not bad not bad so this is the Sizemont Daniel Dante model. Uh, they have a lot of weird names for their watches. A lot of them named after, well, male names, strangely enough. Let me just wind this up. So it is a hand winding movement. Just get this fully wound. One thing that I do really like about skeleton watches with this type of display is you can see the spring in the uh, movement so you know when it's fully charged when it gets tightened to the middle that's when it's fully charged let's see if it's hacking okay it's a hacking movement too now as a flip around to the back so this to me looks like the same type of hangzhou movement that we get in a lot of chinese watches very much like some of the chinese watches that we pick up on aliexpress now this is available on the trend him store for £179. For that, you are getting an automatic movement. Um, it is fully stainless steel. We do have a nice coated 
finish on the actual watch itself. Milled clasp. Now let me talk to you about the dimensions of this watch just before we um, move any further along. So I have my calipers here. So there's a 44 mil in diameter watch, 51.6 millimeters lug to lug, only 12 millimeters thick. And these will be 22 millimeter lugs. So I'm quickly gonna size this up, put it on wrist, uh, and then we're gonna talk about the watch itself and more so this type of the type of watches that you can expect from these types of websites so this is the seismont daniel dante on wrist uh, if it's all right to wrist to be fair the finish on this watch is probably the best part about it um it is quite nice to be completely fair to them it is a automatic watch it has hacking hand winding uh, we only have 30 meters of water resistance on this one it is stainless steel. We have a display case back. Um, I quite like Roman numerals on a dial. I, I don't like the bezel. So I'm going to be completely honest about this one. It, it's not for me. And you could probably tell by how I'm interacting with it on camera. It's, it's just, it's a cheap watch. Now, I took this review because I kind of wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt. Um, it looked like a drop shipping website. You know, they stamp a name on it and then just ship these things out after they've bought it from some sort of Chinese website or Chinese factory. But it's exactly that. Um, I, I wouldn't advise any of you to go pick one of these up. If you're into it, the website's in the description. And that's what I told Trendim. I'll link the website. Um, but I, I, I do offer fully honest reviews and therefore I, I can't lie to you guys. It's just not for me at all. It looks cheap. It feels cheap. It, it looks a bit tacky, to be honest. I, I don't imagine I know anyone that's going to wear something like this. They are £179 on trend. Him, if you want to go pick one up. Again, I, I don't advise it. Yeah, you can get a much better watch for that type of price. You can pick up plenty of Seikos for that type of price. They're really good quality. You can pick up plenty of watches on AliExpress. They're really good quality for that price. There's hundreds and hundreds of different options at this price range and that's what this channel does best highlighting those really good options but this time we've kind of had to highlight a bad option i'm expecting that trends him won't want to work with me after this but that's fair enough i, I just i have to see it, say it as a seer and yeah this is a bit crap not exactly the most pleasing review that i've ever given a watch now let me get into a little bit more detail about trend him or in fact let me talk to you more about the listing of this watch it had no specifications in it the only features that it had was stainless steel sapphire crystal like sell me the bloody product tell me what movement it is that you can see clearly that they don't have any grasp on any horological part of this watch it's a fashion piece and we know how i feel about fashion pieces i'm not the biggest fan in fact i hate them i absolutely hate them uh, if you want to pick this one up the website's in the description i strongly advise you not to uh, i actually advise you to go through any one of my aliexpress videos and pick up any of those other watches on those and enjoy that instead because you won't enjoy this it feels cheap, it looks a bit tacky, not for me at all. Nothing against the company, there's plenty of um, plenty of other companies that are doing exactly the same thing. Not that I can endorse any of them. Thank you to Trendim for sending this in and you know they, they've let me do a fully honest review about the watch. Another thing, I looked at the reviews in on the actual website and they were all like, it has five star reviews so i don't know who is buying this and reviewing it with five stars but i don't want to say that they're faking reviews but they don't add up put it that way i have a new link in the description below the trends in one uh, where you can support the channel by buying me a coffee which would be really nice of you uh, don't feel in any way that you have to though that's just an extra 
uh, way that you can support the channel. You can still enjoy all the same features as everyone else. So don't feel too obliged. Thank you for watching this video, guys. I will see you in the next one.